What do you think um, of the idea of USA to invade and liberate Canada, as suggested by Tucker Carl Carlson? And can uh, King Charles dissolve the Trudeau government by executive authority if he wishes? I mean, last time you guys tried to do that to Canada, it didn't work out for you, did it? The only time that the United States has ever actually tried to have an offensive in battle uh, on Canadian soil, we lost resoundly. And ultimately, yes. the British troops would burn uh, the White House. Yeah. So, we came over and we burned the White House. Yeah, like, yeah. don't do that again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't you dare I mean, do that again. It, technically, <laughs> it was still part of Britain at the time. So I don't know if it really counts, but it, yeah, it didn't go so well for us. I mean, so, uh, I mean, it still counts because Canada is yeah. still technically kind of part of Britain. You know? <laughs> yeah, so, good point. Good point. Good point. <laughs> good point. But I, I love, mean, I love yeah. this. The 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 U.S. to invade and liberate Canada, it liberate them from what, like from free healthcare, <laughs> <laughs> all that dirty socialism. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Um, no. Tucker Carlson's obviously an idiot, right? Um, yeah. And specifically though on the on the king charles thing um he cannot the 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 king and queen do not have the authority to um like actually dissolve parliament so ultimately it would still have to be something that's done through the canadian parliament and trudeau would still have to um dissolve it all so. right tucker carlson sounded like he really meant it seriously I yeah, like look at it, and then oh the, the other guy called him out for it, and he was like, "Yeah." Then he took it back. But he wow. was—I mean, if he didn't mean it, because the way it sounded like he meant yeah. it, it's irresponsible to put that out there. Oh, it's just—I feel like it's—it's it's just another one of those things where it's—it's it's like when you go through all like the Alex Jones content and you see a bunch of it back to back, and you're like, "Oh, this guy's just like legitimately not in his right mind anymore," you know? Mm -hmm. Like if Tucker Carlson is—is is honestly saying on a national news program in, in the united states that it even floating the idea of trying to invade our closest ally like yeah by the way crazy. americans don't know that a lot of americans don't appreciate how canada is united uh, states closest ally is, is it's incredibly a, important for us in lots of different regards like yeah it's a country that you know you guys have the biggest you know trade volume yeah about, we're so. definitely not fighting canada in the united States, I yeah, promise yeah. the amount of money sure? that they give us. Should we yeah. <laughs> like, Should we I, don't, be I don't know. The Vermont maple syrup is really good, but I just I don't know. I think I if that's our biggest beef, like I'm okay with this. Like you know, I, I, you know how I may I may how I said um liberate us from one from what from free healthcare, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This whole healthcare thing, free healthcare in Canada is becoming the greatest symbol of nationalism in Canada, mm. Mm. right? Mm -hmm. So if you if you the polls like show like what are you what are you the most proud of as a can as a Canadian? Yeah. For, you know, yeah. Um, you know, it's healthcare. It's just yeah. it's all it's, it's just become the national symbol of Canada. Okay, it's not you know their constitution. It's not their flag. It's not anything. Yeah. It's not maple. It's not even maple syrup. It's our it's healthcare, and. <laughs> it's it's not a and and the reason the reason why it's healthcare okay is because Canada's identity you know is the you know what is the main thing that defines a Canadian mm. other than being nice think? no 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 <laughs> I don't know not being American oh well, that's that's probably fair actually yeah. not being yeah. American this is mm. the national pride of Canadians mm. is is okay. and the, the way a Canadian okay. demonstrates its superiority to an American is free healthcare <laughs> it's just the fact it's that true. they're alive and healthy like, <laughs> it's, just, it's, just like, it's just like we would be making fun of our American counterparts tonight but they don't have free health care so they all died in the process on the way over here so yeah yeah. So this is why every time somebody yeah. challenges anything about healthcare, everybody like panics in Canada, right? Like this is what makes us better than Americans. Like, mm -hmm. and again, again, this is the reason why they want their healthcare. It's, it's, I, I, I would actually bet that the Can Canadians, okay, love their healthcare so much, not because that they get to be alive, okay, <laughs> but because they get to say that we're better than Americans. It's, it's that is you more know, important to them. 
you know, it's spite... not that they uh, don't have to go bankrupt when they every time they have an uh, illness. It's like it's because this this bragging rights that like you know you guys think you're so great of a country. Well, do you have free health care? I didn't think so. Yeah. I did not think so. So that's it. That's the, it. <laughs> the next time that the next time that I hear somebody say that spite never produces good results, I'm just going to point them to the Canadian <laughs> healthcare system and be like, it's purely still running because they want to be better than us, which they are because again, they're healthy and not going in debt for. <laughs> it's it's the natural result of you being a, a relatively small country, not in size but in population, yeah, right, right? Right. Next to and your neighbor is the world's superpower uh -huh, right uh -huh, so uh -huh. and you have no other neighbors i mean you technically do but no neighbors that you don't really yeah, not really feel like they're neighbors yeah, right not really so you are a tiny country okay and you're uh -huh. you have one neighbor one neighbor and it's the world superpower and your entire identity is influenced by it so you kind of feel inferior you're like Every, your culture, your movie, your music, everything, your language, everything is just under the shadow of this giant, yeah. giant of a country. So you're like, you're like looking at it like, okay, what, what, who are we again? Like, we're the ones who have free healthcare. That's who we are. <laughs> what do they do a really bad job of? Oh, taking care of their citizens. Oh, we got that. Hospitals for everybody. You get a hospital. You. Get... Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Oh. That's fair. That's right. fair. Well, hey, you know, go Canada. Um, like, good for y'all. And <laughs> you know. Susanna is saying, wait, hold on. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Who are Canada's other neighbors? Polar bears? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, yes. And technically, through the North Pole and like the surrounding area, uh, we have other neighbors. Like, Russia is technically our neighbors. But are they really? Like, it technically, yes. We have other neighbors. Are they right? really going to go that way? Like, who's really yeah. going to? I mean, come on. It's just That's like silly. there's so much wasteland between yeah. us and them that pe yeah. it doesn't feel like they're our neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Silly. Silly. But beavers. There are a lot of beavers up there, I think, right? In, in Canada. It's a good bit of beavers. Or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you, what do you like? Wait. Um, uh, Higgs oh. is saying, does Canada have WMDs to destroy the world? Ooh. I, think they can. I mean, they, they proud that they don't. You know, yeah, when you know. enter Vancouver, for some reason, I always see the sign and I'm like, we like when you go from North Vancouver to Vancouver, there's a sign that says, welcome to Vancouver, a nuclear free city. I, <laughs> what, a, what a weird thing to brag about. <laughs> okay, sure. All right. I mean, like, that's there's that's a big that's sign there. Like, that's what that's is this? That's not okay. bad. Like, that's yeah. cool. Um, sure. That's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I, I think... Like like a nuclear bomb free city is better because I think there's like nuclear energy that would be good, you know. But like maybe they just didn't have enough space on the sign. Yeah. Um. People are, <laughs> uh, good for you, but that is like weird flex. Yeah, yeah, weird flex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird flex. Like, yeah, no, for sure. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.